let us look at proposition number 50 of book 10 of Euclid's Elements. The proposition says to find the third binomial line. So, what is a third binomial line? We have already seen first binomial line, second binomial line. So, a third binomial line definition says given a rational straight line and a binomial divided into its terms such that the square on the greater term is greater than the square on the lesser by the square on a straight line commensurable in length with the greater then if neither of the terms is commensurable in length with the rational straight line set out let the whole be called a third binomial so here if you notice starting from given a rational straight line and a binomial till commensurable in length with the greater it is the same for first binomial second binomial and the difference comes in the last part of the statement in the case of first binomial it says if the greater term is commensurable in length with the rational straight line set out in case of second binomial line, it says if the lesser term is commensurable in length with the rational straight line set out. And here in case of third binomial, it says neither of the terms is commensurable in length with the rational straight line set out. Okay, that's the difference. Now let's see how to actually find this third binomial line. Let's start off. Set out two numbers AC and BC such that AB is to BC is equal to number square is to number square. And AB is to AC is not equal to number square is to number square. Okay, let's set it out. Okay. Set out another number D not a square such that D is to AB is not equal to number square is to number square. And D is to AC is not equal to number square is to number square. Okay, let's set out D then. So this is the number D. Set out any rational straight line E. So let's construct E. Now construct FG such that D is to AB is equal to E square is to FG square. So we don't have FG. We have to construct FG such a way that it satisfies this proportionality. So let's construct FG. So here D is to AB as E square is to FG square. That means E square is commensurable with FG square. Why? Because E square is to FG square is equal to a number is to a number. Remember D is a number and AB is a number. So we can say E square is commensurable with FG square. Okay. Now E is rational. So FG is also rational. Now E square is to FG square is not equal to or does not have a ratio that a number square has to a number square. Why? Because D is to AB does not have a ratio that a number square has to a number square. Which means E is incommensurable in length with FG. Now let AB is to AC is equal to FG square is to GN square. So remember we have AB, we have AC, we have FG square. Now we have to construct GN square. So basically we have to extend FG to A such that it satisfies this proportionality. So let's bring in that FG square is commensurable with GH square because again AB and AC are numbers and FG square and GH square is as a number is to number ratio. Since FG is rational, GH is also rational. But FG square is to GH square does not have a corresponding number square is to number square ratio. Why? Because AB is to AC does not have a 
number square is to number square. So which means FG is incommensurable in length with GH. Means FG and GH are commensurable in square only. Which means FH, which is the sum of FG and GH, is binomial. Now we have to show that it is a third binomial. So B is to AB is equal to E square is to FG square. And AB is to AC is equal to FG square is to GH square. Which can be written as B is to AB is to AC is equal to E square is to FG square is to GH square. X equally, we can say D is to AC as E square is to GH square. E square is to GH square does not have a ratio that a number square has to a number square. Why? Because E is to AC does not have a number square is to number square, which means E is incommensurable in length with GH. So we have shown E is incommensurable in length with FG. We have shown E is incommensurable in length with GH. Since AB is greater than AC, FG square is also greater than GH square. AB is to AC is equal to FG square is to GH square. So since AB is greater than AC, FG square is also greater than GH square. Now let fg square is equal to gh square plus k square and here we are not showing k where did this k square come because remember fg square is greater than gh square that means it is greater by something na? so which means we are saying let it be k square it is greater than gh square by some square that is k square. so in conversion what happens AB is to a AC instead of that we say BC the extended part AB is to or the excess part AB is to BC is equal to FG square is to K square which is the excess part so which means FG is commensurable in length with K why because AB and BC have a are numbers and fg square is to k square has a ratio corresponding to a number is to number so we can say fg square is greater than gh square by k square where k is commensurable with fg fg and gh are rational straight lines such that fg and gh are incommensurable in length with e fg and gh are commensurable in square only which means fg is a third binomial line divided into its terms that is fg and gh so that is proposition number 50 of book 10 of euclid's elements again let me remind you there is a link to a pdf book which describes all these propositions in detail please feel free to download it refer to it and if you think somebody else can also benefit from it please do share that's it for now Bye.